Hey everyone, welcome to today's topic on meditation. Now, before you go anywhere, I just want to invite you to keep an open mind. You are in the right place if you maybe at one point thought meditation was definitely not for you. Maybe you're still there. Uh, I was there myself once and so I can totally relate. Today we're going to talk about a few things in regards to meditation like what it is and what it isn't. We're going to talk about maybe some ways that meditation could be added into your life that could be right for you. We're going to talk about uh, why I believe essential oils and some of doTERRA's products are one of the most powerful things that you can use in your meditation practice. And finally, at the end, we're going to have a little bit of a surprise. So stay tuned for that. Um, so my name is Donna Taves and I am super thankful that you are taking the time out to even listen to this topic because I know for me it has changed my life. It has changed the life of my family, even my kids. And, you know, it's something that you can use to change the perspective, not only of how you view yourself and how you view the world but it can actually do something that can can bring an optimal level of health for you and your family all together and is something that has truly transformed me. So let's talk about what meditation is and what it isn't. Um, meditation is simply not for just the mystics, those people who want to go and meditate all day long. You know, they're cross-legged and their hands are like this and maybe they're gone on a, in a cave and they want to just be alone and meditate. That's not necessarily what you need to do or what you need to think of when you think meditation. It would be the same thing as, let's just say there's somebody who wants to run. They want to run around the block once a day or they maybe just want to walk around for a little while, you know, just to get their heart pumping and they want to just get out in the fresh air. The difference between somebody like that and the difference between somebody who wants to run a marathon, there's a huge spectrum there. And so just because you don't want to run a marathon doesn't mean you don't get out there and walk. And that's what we're talking about today. You know, you can utilize meditation for even just 17 seconds. So when I started meditation, <laughs> I actually felt more stressed out meditating because I just felt like all of these thoughts would come in and you know i i i've started going like why i can't even relax i just all i feel is you know more tension and more thoughts here and more thoughts there and i, I just can't do this and i thought well meditation clearly isn't for me <laughs> this is not something that is going to help me or uh or maybe it's just some, for somebody else and, you know, my favorite soul coach, Sandy Alimian, she guided me one time through a meditation and I was like, yes, you know, when, when you guided me, I felt, I felt present. I felt like, you know, all of my stress was gone, but how can I do that on my own? And so I started very gradually. And, and for me, I started with three by three. I had an accountability partner and we would do three minutes three times a day and it was not something I wanted to do but it was a challenge and I you know I started out just going I know it's good for you everyone says it's good for you so let's just try it so I would set a timer on my on my phone for three minutes and I would you know just do it in the morning and by the afternoon I was in a different mood and so I did it again in the afternoon and then another three minutes in the evening and I, you know, both my accountability partner and I just found that there were so many things happening in our life that just felt more at ease as we went. And even like things started happening, going like according to our goals that we were having for that week. So it was really super powerful. And I started to think maybe this is definitely something that I can do. But here's one thing that happened and maybe something that's happening for you. As you're sitting down in meditation and you're, you might feel all of these thoughts, what is actually happening is that you're finally resting enough and quieting your mind enough that you're hearing the thoughts that are going on all day long 
every day. And maybe these thoughts have been going on for you for years and you haven't even slowed down enough to, to even recognize how much your thoughts are moving you and maybe even controlling just your everyday moods. You know, experts say that we think we have about like tens of thousands, sometimes up to 50, sometimes up to 80,000 thoughts a day. And these experts in the research are saying that we have about 80% of those thoughts that are negative and up to 90% of those thoughts are just repetitive thoughts that we have been thinking over and over and over again for days, weeks, maybe even years, maybe since you were a little boy or girl. And so what meditation can do is just bring these thoughts into, into a focus. But when you first start out, your thoughts are going to race, but just if you could allow awareness, like, yeah, okay, these thoughts are happening. My brain is doing what it was meant to do. It's meant to think. And if we don't feel shame or guilt or pressure, uh, we can actually just start a practice that brings an, a beautiful moment of, I want to change this. And how would your life be different if you didn't have, you know, 50 to 80 thoughts a day that were negative? How would your life be different? So there's different reasons that a person can meditate. And the first one is for this reason. The first reason is to, you know, bring your thoughts into a focus. And there's so many different meditations that can do that. One is that three by three, and it's just a practice. You know, it's, oh, I, I, I maybe your, your thoughts go and they run away on you. And all you need to say is, okay, I, I hear you thoughts. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do, what I've trained you to do all of these years. So come back and now we're going to focus. And some meditations will focus on your breath, which is a beautiful beginning to any meditation because now you're giving your brain something to do. You're, you're not supposed to not think in meditation, but you're just giving your brain something new so that you can retrain the steps because your neural pathways kind of just go in one direction, right? Remember I said 90% of our thoughts just keep going this way, this way, this way. But what if you trained your brain to focus on something? Then when you go out in the day, you can have a meditation practice where you're not bringing your day into your meditation, you're bringing your meditation out into your day where your brain is just used to being and not doing. Do you see how powerful that could be? Another way of meditation and using meditation is to, you know, help your dreams come true. <laughs> what do I mean by that? This is something that for the last couple of years I've been doing. And one part of my meditation practice, not most of it, but some parts of it, I'm actually thinking about what I want in my life. So a dream that could come true for me. And, you know, I talk to many men and women about this and sometimes they come to me in regards to, you know, self dreams, you know, where they want to be, where they want to be living. And then some people or the same people come and say, well, this is what I want to do to serve the world. And so what they do is they can put their hand on their heart or their belly or, you know, wherever you can just sit in a chair and you close your eyes just to, to shut out the rest of the world and you just focus on being exactly where you are as though your dream has already come true. Whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are. And imagine this with me right now. So if you can close your eyes and just take a deep, slow breath. And imagine a goal, a dream come true. Maybe, um, maybe your dream has been to serve. And you are serving, maybe you're standing in an orphanage that you've always wanted to, to help open and create life, new breath into, into children and babies. And so I want you to just stand there. And feel what it feels like from your heart. Feel the emotion of already having that dream come true. And just breathe that in deeply and slowly. And if you do this for 17 seconds, there's a powerful energy. And you'll begin to see, like I have over these last years, uh, a powerful movement of bringing that 
and inviting that dream to you as opposed to having to chase after it. Wouldn't that be an amazing, different way of, you know, we have these chasing after these goals or instead we're inviting it. So that's another way that you can use for your meditation practice. Now let's talk about some oils that have been some of the most powerful oils that I have used uh, and some of doTERRA's products that I have used in my meditation practice to just help ground me, you know, to bring me away from the stressful thoughts and, you know, the wheels that keep turning. So the first one I want to talk about is sandalwood. Now this is a, an, an amazing oil. It's, it's been used for centuries. You know, it's something that they, the mystics have used, but also religious meditators have used, right? Remember, this is not just for one type of person. This is for everybody. And uh, so sandalwood, you know, the, the chemical constituent, say that three times fast, that has been known for its effects to, you know, for meditation, mostly in meditation practice, and that has been the most powerful is santalol. And it's actually been the most studied. And santalol, depending on the region that you find it, can be in a sandalwood oil, can be maybe 20%. What I love about what doTERRA does is that they are looking not only for sustainable harvesting of the tree, um, um, sandalwood tree, but also they're looking to find the most beneficial chemical constituents, the balance that is actually going to be the most powerful, the most potent, and even the most pure. And so sandalwood is one of those where doTERRA has been looking for a source that has the highest sandalwood and they have found it. And so there's certain regions that they will source from that will give you the most optimal effects. Now, what I do in before I meditate is I will put, see how beautiful this oil is? It doesn't come out fast. It's just this beautiful, rich oil. And so I'll put that in the palm of my hand and I'll breathe that in. So sandalwood, one of the most powerful ones. Another oil that we can use, uh, and that is one of my favorites, is uh, Arbor Vitae because it is one of the most powerful ones. In a diffuser, it's, it smells like a sauna, a cedar sauna. Ah, it's, uh, it's amazing. And so the Arbor Vitae that uh, we source is from the native parts of Canada. And we have First Nations who are using this tree that they call the tree of life. And you'll see that the oil is still in the tree even after it's fallen to the ground. And the First Nations people used to use this for all, they, they would use all all parts of the tree. They would use it for building their vessels. They would use it for um, clothing. They would use it for their totem poles, for their health benefits. And uh, so doTERRA today is actually utilizing the tree where the tree is already being used, but there's wood chips left over. And doTERRA is using those wood chips and there's essential oil within them. And so they're harvesting, they're not simply chopping down this tree because they care about these trees. They care about the sustainability and growth of these trees. So what they're doing is they're just um, taking the leftovers. And so it's a win, win, win all the way around. Uh, and lastly, the product that I use for, um, for meditation, and you, you might be surprised to hear this, but it's adaptive. Now, these are in capsules. And so what you want to do is take one in the morning and this brings this place for you that, you know, and I know it helps my child. He just uses this and it brings his mood to this elevated state that I absolutely love in him when he's on these. And so if you, um, if you look into this, what two things that I love about it, the adaptive capsules is that one is GABA and the second is scalidium. Now, GABA is a neurotransmitter uh, but it quiets the brain. And so it's almost like it's putting the brain brakes on. So you know how we talked about the, the thoughts that just keep going and going and going? Well, GABA can help just put on the brakes to stop your thoughts from repeating over and over and over. And this has changed my son's life. Um, the other one, Scalidium, that, that's a beautiful one. And it comes from South Africa. And they've actually had permission, again, sustainably sourced, and had permission from the indigenous people in South Africa. And so you can see the intention behind this. And when I'm using these oils, I feel so good about 
how I'm using it and it's benefiting people in different countries around the world. What Skeletium has been known for is almost this alert serenity. Who doesn't want alert serenity? I mean, I know I do. <laughs> so again, this can help in your meditation practice. Kids, you know, kids are no different than adults who need, um, who need some you know, meditation practices, yes? So what kids can use, we have these kids kit, and they can use the, the Steady Blend. Okay, the Steady Blend is just a grounding blend. They can use it in the morning, they can use it in the afternoon, they can roll it on at night. Give them the empowering tool of these roller bottles. Um, this has been so good for my kids and they can take it anywhere with them. You can see that it's really convenient. I've got them all <laughs> tied together so they don't get lost, but uh, my kids love them and, and they are no, um, they should also be uh, part of this meditation practice as well. So, you ready for the little surprise? Okay, I'm gonna go through a very short, brief uh, meditation with you. And I invite you to right now, just if you can take some of your oils and breathe them in right now. And again, I breathe it in for about 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds, so you can even have your hands just like this as you're meditating with me. Um, I have no music because I just want this to be a calm, neutral space for us. So, you ready? So, let's close our eyes. And you can put your hands wherever. Again, there's no posture that's better or worse. There's no right or wrong. There's no perfect. This is a meditation practice, not a meditation perfect. And I invite you to take a big, slow as you can, deep breath into your belly through your nose. So let's do that together. And you can do another few deep, long breaths and your pace. Good. Now I want you to picture a balloon surrounding your belly. And when you breathe in, it's as though you're blowing up the balloon, creating space around your whole torso. So every time you breathe in, the balloon is being blown up. And when you breathe out, the balloon comes back in. Do that two or three more times. Now I want you to bring the balloon up to your heart. And again, I want you to feel the emotion of peace right here. And as you breathe in, the balloon comes out. You blow it out so there's space between your heart and the balloon. And when you breathe out, the balloon comes back in. Do that a few more times. You know, I want you to just in your head repeat these words. There is out there and there is in here. There is out there and then there is in here. I am here. And just take a few moments to be in the present moment. And if your thoughts go, just invite them to come back and focus on the balloon, focus on your breath. And this is where peace is found. So right now, just invite peace. And this is where love is found. So just invite love. And this is where joy is found. And take one last deep breath in. And when you're ready, come back to the room. And I hope that you felt 
the, the peace, the ability for your body to just let go in this time. And you can do this all throughout the day. Come back to this video to remind yourself of how powerful you are and how meditation can take you through your day. And it can be so powerful for you and your family. I hope that this video helped you today and it was an honor to be with you.